Hey, what is up you guys? I am here with a 7 days video on the PC, which is something that I have not done. Um, but I'm going to be transforming this house right here, this POI house, and this house I have not seen in console, I don't think. Um, there's a very similar house where the basement's flooded, um, but it's, it's not as run down as this house. There's holes everywhere, as you can see. Um, I took out all the furniture, pretty much all the furniture, and stuff like that is gone, and this house is stripped bare. Obviously, I kept a couple things in that I was going to, like, leave there anyway, so I didn't buy breaking them, but everything else, though, is, you know, it's, the house is stripped clean, bare, so, yeah, I'm going to be redoing this house. I didn't show every single step that I did in redoing this house. Like, for example, I did not show putting furniture in or things like that, and I didn't show a lot of the painting. I showed, like, the most important paint jobs, like the outside of the house and stuff like that, but I didn't show, like, all the room painting because the video would have been incredibly long because this house actually took me, which you will probably see if you pay attention to the number of days that go by, I started on day 12, and I think it was up to almost day 20, if not, it was around there. But then I reset everything back to like day one again, or day two, just because I felt like cheating. Cause you know, I love cheating. So yeah, and I did have a friend help me. And so that was actually amazing because that way I didn't do this all by myself, which I wanted to say that I did it all by myself, but no, I had help because I was too lazy to do everything by myself and he did all the boring work for me, so. Now my goal, which I'm hoping I'm going to stick with this, uh, I'm gonna be making more of these videos in the near future. I'll be making more POI house upgrades and remodels and stuff like that. So there's gonna be a whole series on this. So if you do like this video, there will be more in the near future. My goal is to upload seven days video specifically on Saturdays because I'm going to I'm going to have a distinct schedule like video schedule at some point because I am going to make use of all this time I have social distancing you know what I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna make use of it because I have no idea how long we're gonna be stuck like this for so I'm gonna make use of the time and I'm gonna just try to pump out the content and stuff like that. I want quality content, so I can't upload every single day because then it'll just be shit posting. So, you know, just just bear with me. I promise I will have more content because I have a ton of ideas. I just have to pursue them. So, anyways, enough of me rambling. Let's get on with the build. The very first thing that I did, obviously, was I did go through and repair all the holes in the walls. Because I wanted to, first off, I wanted to figure out what material I was even going to use because at the time when I was playing in survival mode, I was considering using cobblestone rocks to upgrade all the wood with instead of using cement because I realized that cement would take a lot longer because I'd have to harvest even more rocks to do that. And three quarters of this game is literally harvesting rocks, so I didn't want to spend any more time than I had to just gathering the resources. Mind you, this was at the time before I switched into uh, creative mode. But I, w I have decided, though, that I am going to actually, if I do continue this series, I'm going to be doing it in creative mode because it's not that it's impossible to rebuild one of these houses in survival mode. And that was a point that I was trying to make in the video was you would be able to do this in survival. You wouldn't have to use cheats or anything. But... There are some blocks that you can't actually craft in survival, so, like, and also paint, too. Paint's pretty expensive to make, so I didn't want to waste any resources doing that either, so I just said screw it and just go into creative. So instead of me rambling about nothing for the duration of repairing all the blocks and replacing the wooden frames and stuff, I'm just going to fast forward this until I've repaired all the holes.
repairing the roof was actually kind of a bitch to do because for some reason, I don't know if this is because I'm not used to PC or what, but you cannot get actual wood frames, at least I don't think. I don't know, maybe I haven't upgraded my character enough, but I couldn't get wood frames. Like, wood frame ramps, I should say. Let me elaborate on that. Wood frame ramps, like, they had incline ramps, but they weren't the same as actual wood frame ramps. I don't know. Like, that's all I had to work with. So, I couldn't actually f rotate them upside down, which is what I originally wanted to do. So, I could actually have, like, a smooth uh, rooftop on the inside part. Like, not a smooth rooftop. The, the smooth ceiling, I should say. Because, as you can see, these aren't actual wood frame ramps. They're just incline ramps. But they're different. I don't know. The, the names, again, I'm still relatively new to PC mode. So... I did use them. I replaced a few of them later on, but other than that, though, they're just, you know, what I had to work with while I was still in survival because this is what made me switch into creative. It wasn't, you know, paint, cement, any resource like that. It was the goddamn roof. Once I pretty much had all the frames in, I just went in and upgraded them just to basic wood. But as you can see though, that's why that's why I meant by like I couldn't have a smooth ceiling is like there's this space here where I I couldn't flip the ramps upside down and I don't know if that if that's a thing with PC where you just can't rotate them any way you want to. Like there's only like four different ways to rotate it, but you can't my point is you can't rotate upside down and I don't know why. But I just had to deal with it, but once I painted it over with, like, the drywall paint color, like, it looked sort of okay. Like, it looked like the roof was fucked up, but other than that, like, it, it was, eh, it was okay. But pretty much once I went in and upgraded everything, I started working on, like, upgrading in general. Like, I would upgrade, like, the bottom part of the walls and stuff like that to cement because I didn't want to do the whole house cement and that's only because it would have wasted so much time trying to upgrade the whole house because if you think about it if you want this to be an actual zombie fortress if you will in quote but it looks like a standard POI house you're not going to need to have like the rooftop or like the upper walls cement you know what I mean like you would only need like the first two blocks cement because zombies, obviously, yeah, they can jump, but they're mostly going to be dealing damage to the bottom blocks of the house. So if they take out, if they take out the foundation, you know, you're kind of fucked. But here, I was just trying to see if I could like open up the walls a bit more, so there was more windows, and I did get a little bit of help from that. But I don't know. Just the house seemed really dark to me, and I don't know why. Mind you, another thing I don't know how to do is electricity. 
So in the end, you will see that I used candles and stuff like that, and that's just because I really, really do not know how to use uh, the wire tool and use electrical lighting because in PC, again, is very different from console. You know, there's switches, so you can just kind of like throw a light up and then just switch it on and off in console, but in PC you have to have the wire tool, a battery bank, and all this stuff, and I just didn't think it was worth it to try and do that because I probably would have fucked it up in some way, so I just kind of just said no to it. And besides, in the apocalypse, it'd probably be a bit harder to even find electricity anyways, you know what I mean? But this is what the house looks like with the walls and the roof pretty much fully upgraded. I mean, not fully upgraded, but, you know, upgrade enough. And then I just went on the outside and fixed all these, you know, half-broken blocks. So, yeah. So now I'm at the part where I upgraded all of the bottom blocks to cement. I only started out with a brick and then afterwards I went up another block, but I wanted to mostly just get the bottom, the brick parts done because mostly when the zombies damage blocks, like I mentioned, they're only going to be the first two blocks. They're really gonna take a hit on, but especially if there's a lot of crawlers and stuff like that, then you're really gonna want to have everything, you know, upgrade to cement. Which, you know, I wanted this to be a zombie-proof house, but at the same time, I had all zombies turned off during the build process because I did not want zombies interfering. I didn't want to have to go through hordes and stuff like that while trying to build, so all zombies are turned off. But this type of house, though, is something that you could uh, use for the actual like horde night and stuff like that. Because it was nighttime, I decided to just start painting the kitchen, which as you can see, like a little bit here, uh, my friend got, you know, a little bit too excited with the nail gun and decided to upgrade like three quarters of the walls, which was fine. I didn't care. I, you know, I, my, my original plan was to be two blocks high, but it doesn't matter. But anyways, because it was nighttime, I decided to paint the inside and I wanted to see what the kitchen looked like. I chose this like nice like wood color for the walls. I was originally gonna do like red, like just red walls, but I didn't because I think if I'm correct, I forget. I might be in the living room. I chose to have that red color because I was gonna have it reversed, but I didn't. Um, but the reason why I'm painting now when I could be doing other things is because it was nighttime and I didn't know what else to do, although I could have just gone into 
debug mode and just change the daylight, like change to daylight and switched it to always day, but I didn't, um, because at the time I wasn't thinking about it, so, yeah, but this, honestly, painting was the most tedious part, and you would think that it would probably be a little bit more fun, I guess, to paint, but it actually was pretty tedious because if I went in with the paint roller or the spray paint, then it would have made a mess because I tried that. I forgot, I think I did it with a ceiling, but it got everywhere, and then I had to just redo pretty much all of it anyways. So I literally went one by one with these blocks, and I did get help later on, but still, this is was a very tedious process, and three quarters of the time with this house, it was just painting. So then I took a break from the inside of the house, I started working on the outside a bit, and I replaced, well not, re well not replaced, I upgraded all the brick to cement that was broken, and then I just changed the color of the brick because I liked this like deeper red color brick instead of the orange, because I don't know, the orange just looked kind of gross to me, so, and then as you can see, he was working on the siding, and I chose this like nice blue color, because I did not know any other color siding that I wanted to do. But yeah, and as you can see, I did try to put a battery bank in because I wanted to try with electricity, but I just gave up. I could not do it. Like, I'm just going to stick with my damn candles, and that's it. Which, table candles, I love. I wish they would have put them in console, but they didn't. But table candles are amazing because you can put them, like, in the lamps, like those end table lamps. You can actually... If you angle it properly, you can actually put them inside, so it looks as if the lamp actually has a light bulb in it, but it doesn't. It's a neat little trick, so yeah, um, but yeah, just more painting. So here what I did was I just did a few finishing touches on the roof and stuff like that because it's just, you know, more painting. Like literally three quarters of the time I was just painting, but I decided not to show the painting process for all the rooms and the basement because this video would have been over an hour long and I really did not want to do that. So yeah, and I did, I did finish the shingles and stuff like that, you know. The house was pretty much done at this point. I was just doing finishing touches from where I messed up from using the goddamn paint roller. I don't know why that's even a thing. But anyways, yeah, this is the finished house from the outside. And now I'm going to give a tour. So when you first walk into the house, there is the living room, which there is no TV in the living room. I should have put one in, but I didn't. 
It's just because of where I had a, the couch placed, I didn't know where I could put the TV, where like it would make sense. Although I could probably put it on the fireplace, like above the fireplace. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's the living room. And then here's the dining room, which is very small, just table, chairs, nothing too fancy. And then we have the kitchen, which is a lot more detailed. This is the most detailed part of the house, I think, and I'm very proud of the kitchen. And then you go up the stairs, which I did glitch out because I was in god mode, so, you know, I kind of glitched through the floor a little bit, but it's whatever. And then the bathroom is pretty basic, I would say. Um, I kept it pretty much the same as what it was before, I just switched, like, you know, placement, like, of the toilet, bathtub, stuff like that. And then... On the right, there is, in quote, my bedroom, which, don't ask why the walls are pink. I thought it would look a lot better, but it doesn't. Um, I will probably change it in the near future. But, as you can see with the lamps, the light coming out of it, that's actually a table candle in there. Um, and then we have an empty room. I don't know what I'm going to do with this room yet. I really do like that wallpaper. I kind of wanted to use it in other parts of the house, but I didn't. And then we have my friend's room, which is clearly different than the rest of the house, um, clearly, so, yeah, and I actually was the one that furnished it, like, he kind of upgraded all the walls to the metal look and stuff, but yeah, I'm the one that pretty much furnished it because he had no idea how he wanted to furnish it, so I'm like, just let me handle it, so, yeah, that was the upstairs and the downstairs area. And honestly, this actually took quite a bit of time to furnish because I didn't want it to look too post-apocalyptic. I wanted it to look like a house before the zombie apocalypse, you know what I mean? And then we have a basement. The basement is literally just the same as, you know, just, it's basically just another living room, basically. But I do have, a, you know, a few storage crates in the corner and stuff. And I do have a vending machine down here. I don't know why I chose to put it there, but yeah, and then the room, like the extra room that's like in the basement, this one right here with the workbench in it, I left this literally the same, I did not know what to do with it, so I just left it all the same. But yeah, this was the tour of the house, and there's a couple, you know, things I should like redo, like parts of the ceiling aren't painted fully and stuff like that. There's just a few things that I could, you know, tweak a little bit. But other than that, though, the house is complete. And this is what it looks like from the outside. When the sun's going down, it looks quite nice. I'm very proud of it. So if you did enjoy this build, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be making more videos like this in the near future. And peace, dudes.